Okay, so Noel here again. This is our wall where we checked out the extremities of the moisture, these marks. So what I want to do now is put the radar. So we're on radar here. I want to check along this area to see if we're getting any activity of termites traveling towards this moisture source. As we know, it's very, very common to exploit that. So we see here, that's my extremities. So I'm just going to start over to the edge. I'm going to run it on the flip stand. So at that angle, what I'm doing with the emission, the motion, that's going to get down to the leading edge of the bottom plate, sort of down to the bottom. So I'll just let that sit there. I'll move back. And it is showing a little bit of a pattern. What I'm going to do now, you'll hear this. So you'll see that's intensified from me tapping. Now we'll sit back and we'll watch what happens to our pattern. So what's happened, you'll see from where me hitting it, it's disappeared. Now the pattern has changed a little bit to when we initially put it there. So that's a good indicator that termites are there. So what I'm going to do, this position, just pencil, and that's indicating I'm on the 45. So now I'll just move it along random areas, okay, but on the long, the same plane. So we'll just move the screen up a bit closer. So I have gone about 12 inches or so here. Make sure we're all still. Again, I'm getting a little bit of a pattern. So I'll give them a bit of a... So that was me, but now here, we can see those termites, or the movement, has certainly intensified that wee bit. Very strong indicator of termites again, traveling through there. So I'll just do one more spot. Oh, I better mark that, sorry. Just faint pencil. I'll come back along here, same sort of distance again. And that's indicating, so it's worth uh, investigating a bit further. Now come right back down to the corner. We'll see here that actually now in this corner, that pattern is a lot more. So that isn't, again, a very good indicator that they're traveling along the external wall and then they've highlighted this moisture zone and they're probably coming in, traveling in on small numbers to start with uh, to investigate. All right, so that's this area. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to another part of the house now and I'll show you where I have highlighted some activity just to show you the difference in the pattern in there. So I'll just quickly uh, turn off the radar for safety reasons. Okay, so now we're back into a different section of the home. Now, I highlighted this area this morning. Uh, it actually was highlighted this area by a very clever little dog. So we've come back to this area at the radar first up. Now, you can see I've got marks. You're looking up here. So I spent a little time this morning. All these marks have indicated activity. So there's a double stud in here behind the door frame. So I've indicated that. Now, if we look at the pattern here, it's a lot more intensity than what we were actually getting uh, previously in that other section where the moisture now i'm just going to move it up with a couple of these other marks which i knew i had this morning so i'll come up a bit higher here i'll put it on the same mark and i'll just hold that there nice and steady i'll stop talking for the moment and we'll look at the pattern All right so that instance we need to turn that pattern down so I'll drop that down to six even. Very healthy. But what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to move it sideways off that area. So you'll see now what's happening is that's going down to a flat line. The reason I've done that is to rule out if there's any shaking with me creating vibration to give us a pattern. And it there's a little bit there now for me talking. But if I'm not talking, 
you see that's coming back flat. I go back to our mark. And there we go, getting that heavy intensity again. All right, so hopefully that's a brief explanation for you and you understand exactly what we're trying to do with moisture areas, then checking in for uh, termite activity leading to moisture, but also our series of marks. So each of these marks are stepping stones and that's showing me, if we go all the way up here, I've got up to this point here. Now there is another room adjacent to this entrance where we are getting activity quite heavy activity. So what I'm going to try to do now is work out where have they entered this structure. Once I've done this process, then we'll work out the best way to treat it. All right. Okay. Until next time. Have a good day, everyone.